Hi everybody, it's Ryan here. Just before we jump into the pitch meeting, a quick announcement. If you haven't heard, this is the final pitch meeting that's gonna be published on the Screen Rant channel because pitch meeting is getting its very own channel. Starting Thursday, March 10th, 2022, new pitch meeting episodes will exclusively release over there. And if you like, you can already subscribe to that channel. There's gonna be a link at the end of the video, probably in the description. And I hope to see you there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we could do a Batman movie. Well, all right. I mean, I think Adam West is in his 60s now, but he could probably swing it. Actually, sir, I was thinking we could get Michael Keaton to play Batman. Oh, Mr. Mom? That might upset some people. Yeah, well, you know, maybe that could be a thing. You know, people getting unreasonably angry about Batman casting use. Maybe that could be a thing for decades to come. I guess it'll get people talking. So what happens in this thing? So there's this family, right? And they're about to get mugged by these bad guys in an alley. Oh. Oh, and Batman swoops in and stops them? No, Batman lets that part happen. Oh. But later, once the mugging is over, Batman pops out and scares the bad guys. Okay. And one of them shoots him in the chest and he pretends to be down, but he's actually okay. So then he pops out and he scares them again. So does he return the stolen items to the family? No, sir, he doesn't. But he tells the bad guys, hey, tell your friends about me. And then he jumps off a building and leaves. Okay, so Batman doesn't stop the mugging, doesn't return the items, gets shot, asks for free publicity, and then runs away. That's right. Okay, I mean, interesting hero tactics, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what else happens? Well, we're gonna meet this organized crime guy, Jack Napier, right? And he's gonna end up being the Joker. Oh, very cool. And by the way, I was thinking we could get Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Oh, yeah, he's very good at acting. Yeah, he is, but I don't, you know, I don't think that'll be really necessary. That's a good point, actually. So anyway, this Jack guy, he falls into a vat of chemicals, and that makes him even crazier than he already was. Oh, going insane via chemicals is tight. Oh, my God. Sir, did you? fall into a vat of chemicals? Sure did, buddy. Doctors said it might lead to weird hallucinations, but I haven't encountered anything yet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Well, great. So anyway, now Jack looks kind of like a clown, so that's gonna be his whole theme moving forward. Oh, nice. Yeah, so he kills the crime boss and then kills another crime guy with a hand buzzer that burns him alive. So how'd he develop this deadly clown technology? Unclear. Oh, okay. Anyway, so meanwhile, Batman's developing a love interest. Ooh. Yeah, her name's Vicky Vale, and she's a reporter trying to figure out who Batman is. That's, oh, that seems like the worst person to date. Yeah, and then Alfred gives her a bunch of wine and she gets super drunk and then Bruce, who's stone cold sober, sleeps with her. Oh my, that's not okay. And then while she's asleep, he goes and sleeps upside down. Why? Well, he's Batman, sir. Bats sleep upside down. He just, he can't help himself from sleeping like a bat in front of the person who's actively trying to figure out who Batman is. Bat's got a bat, you know. I mean, I guess. A very upside down post-coital Batman. Oh. God. Anyway, so Alfred tells Bruce, you know, that is a good woman. She is good for you. Okay. He's like, there's a certain weight that lifts when she's around, Master Wayne. She's been there once and drank a bunch and then Batman slept with her. Yeah, Alfred really liked that. That's so weird. No, it's not. Okay. Anyway, so then Joker starts poisoning the people of Gotham through beauty and hygiene products. Why does he want to kill people? Because he's the Joker, baby. Got it. And then one day Joker's doing some collage work, right? What? And he stumbles upon this picture of Vicky Vale and becomes obsessed immediately. Just coincidentally becomes obsessed with the woman Batman sleeping with after seeing a picture of her. That's what we're going with. So he tricks her into going to this museum by pretending that Bruce invited her there. Oh, very diabolical. Oh yeah, then him and some of his goons vandalize some artwork while listening to Prince. Okay, maybe a little less diabolical, a little more teenage punkish, but still not very nice. Not very nice at all. So then Batman swoops in and saves Vicky. Oh, wow, 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 wow. And then they have this crazy escape together and Batman gets shot in the chest and pretends to be down but he's actually okay. What? Again? That's, yeah, he does that again. Alright. And then he brings Vicky back to his bat cave and explains that he's figured out how to fix Joker's poison thing. Why didn't he tell the police or something? Why wait? Well, he decided he wanted to tell this journalist he's hooking up with. But people are dying, right? Yeah, and so then Batman knocks her unconscious using some gas inside his cape or something? Why does he do that? Well, she had actually taken some pictures of him so he needed to get that film rolled back, which she was hiding inside her bra. So Batman drugs a woman, and then while she's unconscious, he fishes around in her bra. That's right. And won't more people die while she's unconscious if she's the only person he's told? Oh yeah, probably. And, 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 and Batman 
and it's the hero of this movie. Definitely. And so the next day, Alfred convinces Bruce that he should go tell Vicky his real identity, because Alfred's like really into this budding relationship. So far, he got her drunk, slept with her, knocked her unconscious, and groped her. Yeah, Alfred thinks that's just what Bruce needs in his life. Whoa. So Bruce goes over to her house and shoves her onto the couch and says, you're a real nice girl and I like you a lot, but for now, shut up. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think this guy's kind of a monster. That says right here he's a hero, and then Joker bursts in with his goons. Oh no. Yeah, and so Bruce confronts him and Joker pulls a gun. Uh-oh. And then the Joker's like, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What does that mean? Well, he says that's something he says to all his prey. Does he? No. Okay. The only other prey he said that to were Bruce's parents, but so this way Bruce can figure that out. Oh, all right. So then Bruce gets shot in the chest and pretends to be down, but he's actually okay. Again? Yeah, that's like his one move. This time he has a little metal tray under his shirt. That's... How many times does that happen? A lot. A lot. So then Joker's like, hey, never rub another man's rhubarb, and he runs away. Oh, God, what does that mean? Yeah, granted, I don't even... I don't know about that one. <sighs> so anyway, then Joker goes on TV and announces he's having a big parade. Oh, wow. So I guess a bunch of cops will be there waiting for him, huh? Nope. Oh, I guess they didn't hear about it. But then Joker has these big parade balloons that start spraying gas on everybody. Oh, no. Yeah, so now Batman's got to save the day. So what's he going to do? I mean, I assume Rufy someone and get shot in the chest again. Oh, he's going to fly in with this crazy aircraft called a Batwing. Oh, that actually sounds very cool. Oh, yeah, it's going to look so cool. He's going to take a little branding break in the middle of the fight. Understandable. So he tries to shoot Joker, but he misses, and then Joker takes out this really long pistol and shoots him out of the air. Oh, no. Yeah, and Batman crashes next to this big cathedral, and so Joker grabs Vicky and runs inside. Very serious. So now Batman's got to go up a bunch of stairs to get to the top. Doesn't he have, like, grappling hooks? Yeah, but he's not going to use them. Why? Because that works. So then he finally gets to the top, and he's got to fight some of Joker's goons. Well, how'd they get up there? Didn't Joker just randomly run into the cathedral? Yeah, unclear. So then they fight, and they fight, and Batman defeats them all. Oh, very cool. Oh, amazing. And then eventually Joker's about to get away in a helicopter, and Batman's got to stop him. Is that going to be hard to do? Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, now Batman uses his grappling hook, and he shoots it onto Joker's leg and onto a gargoyle in a single shot. Well, how is that possible? Well, he's Batman, sir, says so right here. Right, that makes sense. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, I mean, I think it sounds like an interesting movie, and if Michael Keaton's a good Batman, we can have him do a couple of these. Great. And then, you know, maybe again in several decades if bringing back older characters becomes a massive trend or something. Why would that be a thing? Hi guys, it's Ryan again. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. Just a quick reminder about the new pitch meeting channel starting Thursday, March 10th, 2022. All new episodes will start coming out there and you can subscribe right now. I know I sure will. <clears throat>